Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial you'll learn how to make this button make this block disappear. Boop. Let's get into it. Alright everyone, so to start we are going to insert two blocks, two parts I should say. One and two. It doesn't matter what shape they are, what color, what material, just any part. So uh it doesn't really matter where you place them. I'm just going to place it up here uh, for the aesthetic. And then um, this part right here, this will be the part that will go transparent and uh, make you be able to walk through it. And then this part right here will be our button. So uh, for now, I'm just going to make this smaller to make it a button. And we're going to make the color, uh, that blue looks good. Let's make sure that we can import this block rig and it's up to height. It is not up to height. That looks a little awkward. Um, OCD, you're just going to move it there. Then you can go with. Uh, so now we are going to anchor these two parts so they will float and they will not fall when you are playing the game. So yeah. So now we are going to take the button, click the button, and right click in the Explorers menu on the button's part. Click Rename and rename it to Button. Uh, you can name it anything you want, but whenever I type Button in here, you gotta replace it with the name you named it. Alright, so now that we have that, we are going to click on the button again in the explore menu and click the plus then uh, search up click detector now basically what this does is it detects whenever someone whenever a player clicks on the object so yeah now onto the harder stuff not that hard but harder uh, just go into workspace click the plus and add a script so here it'll say print hello world, just delete that, don't need it. And then uh, what you're going to need to do is define your variables. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to define everything so it's more simpler code. So you're going to type local uh, part, which this is defining our part that we want to go invisible. So uh, local part equals workspace dot part. Now we have our part defined, and then we're going to define our button. Local button is equal to workspace.button. Now we have a button, and now we're going to define our quick detector. Um, capitalization does matter when you're doing function stuff. Uh, yeah, just try and get all capitalization correct. It helps. And then, uh, yeah. Our click detector is inside the button, and it is click detector. So uh, we're accessing our button right here because it's already defined, and then we're going to our click detector. So it goes button click detector. So to sort of zoom out, it goes workspace dot button, workspace dot button, and then button dot click detector. Uh, that was pretty deep. Um, so yeah. Uh, now we're going to create our function. So this function is going to be called onClick. You can name it whatever, but uh, in the event you have to change the name, which I will show you. So yeah. So for this event, we're just gonna make the part uh, invisible, which is transparent. Like one transparency value is equal to one, and can collide equals false. So <clears throat> let's do that. So we're going to write part dot transparency equals one. Oh, my mouse. Uh, so this is basically saying part the part's property of the part's transparency property is going to be equal to one, which means invisible. One is transparent. Zero is. Uh, uh, you can see. You can see it. And then um, we're also going to make it can collide. So part dot can collide equals false. So this also means in can collide, uh, 
where's the Ken Collide property? Here. So it's already on. That means we can, once we hit it, we can't walk through it. But when it's false, you can walk through it. So yeah, so now we need to create our event. So when the click detector is clicked, it will call this function that we just created. So one line of code is going to be click detector, oh, no, click detector dot mouse that mouse click connect and our function here which is unclicked um make i don't know if it matters but if it already if it automatically puts those two parentheses in there you can delete it it still works but uh i think it works either way i just don't like them there sometimes but um if you didn't name your function something different than unclicked you're going to want to change this so basically what it's saying is click detector dot mouse click it's not a property it's a I don't really know how to describe it, but it's like mouse whenever a mouse clicks the click detector this kind of explodes and fires an event I don't know how to explain it I mean there's it's simple so whenever the click does the click detector is clicked it connects it to the on click function which makes the parts transparency one, which is transparent, and the can collide false, which is walk through. So uh, this should be fully working. Let's just make sure everything is anchored. All right, let's play. Loading real quick. All right, um, moment of truth. I do hope this works. It works, and we can walk through it. It's pretty epic. So uh, that's that. Hope you learned something. This is probably pretty complicated, but uh, thank you for watching.